Ladies and gentlemen, uh, glad that you are joining my presentation. I'll be talking on uh, numerical modeling and simulation of spiral reinforcement in prefabricated bridge columns. Uh, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues, uh, Mr. Luboš Zrehonek, uh, Czech Technical University in Prague, and Radomir Pukl from Červenka Consulting. My name is uh, Jan Červenka. So, uh, I'm talking uh, uh, about results which were obtained in a project funded by Czech Technological Agency uh, on uh, spiral reinforcement, which has been developed in Taiwan by company Ruentex in cooperation with uh, NTU and, and uh, NCREE Taiwan. As you can see, this spiral reinforcement uh, compared to traditional reinforcement, which is uh, typically organized in these kind of square, uh, square shapes, has the advantage that it provides more confinement so that, uh, as you see in these uh, contour plots, you may obtain higher confinement uh, inside these spirals uh, than in the classical um, strengthening or strength as the classical reinforcement. And uh, this provides, of course, uh, higher uh, load carrying capacity as we can see in these graphs on top. Well, our, uh, our goal or our uh, participation in this project was mainly on modeling uh, of this uh, spiral reinforcement. For that, we are, for that I would like to say a few words about the material model that we are using. So we are using software Athena and uh, there we are using the fracture plastic material model, which uh, consists of a orthotropic smear crack model to model cracking and plasticity based model to crushing of concrete. As you see at the bottom, this is the plasticity criterion we are using in the plastic part of the model. First, this uh, plasticity opens and develops uh, to simulate hardening part in the response. And then when the compressive strength is reached, we reach the softening. So the softening, both in compression and in tension, is governed by uh, approach uh, analogical to the crack band model. That means we have a crack band size in tension. This size is equal to the projection of the finite element size into the direction perpendicular to the cracks. In uh, compression, it is the size of the element in the direction along the maximum compressive stress. Uh, so with this approach, we can uh, capture the proper energy dissipation. And uh, in addition, we have to take into account the fact that when the crack propagation, as you see here, for instance, in this kind of uh, rectangular element, but uh, you can understand that analogical approach can be used also for for uh, 3D brick elements. So when the crack direction is not perfectly aligned with the finite element edges, as you can see here, so that there is some angle theta, uh, it is clear, like you see in this schematic figure on the right, that when the crack propagates in a diagonal way with respect to the finite element mesh, the cracking will not be localized into a single row of elements, but will be kind of zigzagging through the mesh. And basically the localization will have to involve uh, more than one element. F to account for that, we increase the crack band size by this gamma factor, which uh, uh, depending on the angle of this um, crack inclination with respect to this uh, ideal direction, increases up to 50%. Well, in addition to this uh, standard normal behavior, we also have to address the situation of uh, strength, uh, shear strength of the crack concrete, or shear stiffness of the crack concrete, and shear strength of the crack concrete. So the shear stiffness of the crack is, uh, may, is uh, assumed uh, um, dependent on the 
stiffness in the normal direction multiplied by this factor SF, which is then calibrated based on experimental results to be 20. And for the shear strength, we are using the formula from the modified compression field theory of Collins and Benz. Another feature which is useful to take into account in uh, reinforced concrete subjected to cracking is the reduction of compressive strength when we have a cracked concrete. That means when concrete cracks in the direction perpendicular to the cracks, we can still obtain some, uh, can still develop some compressive stresses, but uh, it has been experimentally proven by Collins and Benz that this compressive strength is being reduced by the presence of cracks. And we are using the empirical formula that they developed to, ta to take this into account. All right, so I'm coming to the experiments that we'll be simulating. So this is a, these are experiments performed in Taiwan at NCREE this very large testing machine they called they call it METS uh, multi actual testing system and uh, the experiment that we will be analyzing is being subjected to this kind of increasing cyclic loading and you see uh, visual picture photo of the specimen after the test so you see all the damages cracking and so on so nicely see how the concrete is confined by the spiral reinforcement. So this is our model. We are using uh, brick elements, isoparametric linear brick elements. Uh, you see the, they are using quite fine mesh for the middle part, which is uh, the column which we want to test. You see inside the column we have the spiral reinforcement. Uh, how do we model the reinforcement? We are using the embedded approach, which um, uh, uh, that means when the program starts, we search for the intersection of the reinforcement with respect to the 3D finite elements. And at each integration, in sec at each uh, intersection, we place truss elements with a multilinear stress strain diagram and Meningoto Pinto cyclic model. It is important, of course, also to consider the bond, possibility to lose a bond between uh, concrete and um, steel. And for that, we account, account by adding additional degrees of freedom at each uh, reinforcement node uh, representing slips. And uh, then we can apply a slip law at each of these nodes. Uh, we are using the FIV model code uh, slip law. And uh, in addition to simulate cyclic behavior, we uh, are using this kind of hysteretic uh, cyclic model to account for the hysteresis during the cyclic behavior reinforcement. So let me show an animation of such an analysis. So what you see on the top uh, left is the low displacement diagram and there is a point moving on the diagram showing uh, exactly where the results where we are in our analysis this the middle gra middle plot shows the deformed shape of the structure with the cracks as they open and close and the contours they show the equivalent plastic strain which presents uh, the, the level of crushing we can estimate from that. So when we are in these blue colors, this means the concrete is fully crushed. That means the compressive strength of concrete uh, was reached. And then this uh, plot on the right, which I think is now a little bit behind, this shows um, the stress strains in the reinforcement. And when we see reinforcement reaching this uh, red color, this means we have a rupture of the reinforcement. So if I go to the end, you see how this reinforcement, when we are reaching this end, end of the analysis, how it ruptured. So mainly at the bottom, tensile reinforcement, actually, and you see that what ruptured is the spiral, spiral reinforcement 
those uh, side spirals and also in the sides, uh, side spirals and also in this middle spiral. So here we see the comparison of the road displacement diagram from the experiment. So it's uh, quite good. Of course, if we would fine tune the model, we can obtain a better match, but we want to use really the parameters, basic parameters just generated based on the concrete compressive strength, which is what engineers usually uh, the information they have. And we see here the stresses in the reinforcements at the peak load and the cracks at the peak load, as well as these uh, crashing areas indicated by this blue color. So let me sp summarize. Uh, so I presented a mod uh, development of a model for this uh, spiral reinforcement uh, RC elements. Uh, spiral reinforcement is a very effective method, especially for prefabricated structures. Uh, they allow to have a very automatic way of production. And uh, the model that we developed is using plasticity for concrete in compression, orthotropic smear crack model for cracking uh, using the crack band model, multilinear reinforcement, stress strain law with Menegoto Pinto cyclic model. And uh, important is also that we take into account the cyclic behavior of reinforcement bond. So the developed model uh, is used for the optimization of the design of the spiral reinforcement for prefabricated columns, so mainly for seismic regions. So with this, I would like to thank you very much for your attention and I'll be happy to answer any of the questions in the Q&A section. So thank you again and see you later. A tenor program produced by Cervenka Company. You can find us via the website and download the program from it or on YouTube by name Cervenka Consulting or in Facebook by name Athena. Finally, we thank you for your attention and for any inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a nice day. Bye bye.